Ooh, new shoes, new shoes. Look at my brand new shoes. Oh, there we are. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm all soaked. It's raining. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. Just the place to come on a rainy day like today. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, what do you think? I think you should take your shoes off the counter, Ben. You never, ever, ever put shoes on the kitchen worktop. It'll go dirty. No, they won't, Small. Not today. These are my brand new squiggy clean sandals. Perfect for walking along the beach. Which is where I'm off to right now. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. Today is not the day to go to the beach with new sandals. They'll get ruined. Oh. I was really looking forward to standing on the sand and listening to the sea. Whoosh, whoosh. Mm. Oh, come on, Ben, cheer up. Hey, why don't we play a game before our first customer arrives? That might take your mind off the sea. It might. Hmm, what game to play? Oh, I know. We'll play a game called Which Shoes. It's a guessing game. It's brilliant. OK, I'll go first. Um, I'm a runner, and I run, run, run. Which shoes do I wear to have fun, fun, fun? Well, which shoes do runners wear? Oh, right, I, I, I guess do I. Oh, right, um, OK, which shoes do runners wear? Which shoes do runners wear? Do you know? Shout out the answer for me. Go on. Oh, I know, I know. Runners wear trainers. Right, first time, Ben. <laughs> right, OK, my go, my go. Um, right, yeah. I'm a dancer and I twizzle around on my twinkle toes. <laughs> Which shoes do I need? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm. Do you know? Oh, I do. It's ballet shoes. Yeah, ballet shoes. I couldn't really wear these to the beach, could I? <laughs> oh, come on, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. Oh. I'm on my way. Who is it today, Small? Well, she's wearing blue and she's carrying a bucket and spade. And what shoes is she wearing? Blue trainers. Oh, I know who it is. I know. It's little Betty Blue. She's here on holiday. You're right. Little Betty Blue lost a holiday shoe. What should Betty do? Give her another, just like the other, and then she can walk out in two. <laughs> so now we've got to decide what to cook for Little Betty Blue. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Little Betty and I were at the beach together yesterday. It was a lovely sunny day and Little Betty was wearing a pair of brand new shoes. I thought they looked so comfy. Will you take one off, Little Betty? I asked. It looks just the right size for me to sit in. And it was. She held me up in the air. It was just like being in an aeroplane. <coughs> she cried as she whisked me round and round above her head. And we laughed and laughed. A family of crabs were watching. They all shouted, Can we have a go? But we were having too much fun to pay any attention. Then little Betty decided that we should build a sandcastle. So I got out of the shoe and started to help her. With one shoe on and one shoe off, Little Betty Blue filled her bucket with sand and we built the castle higher and higher. When the castle was finished, she put a beautiful little flag on the very top. There, she said, a castle fit for a little cook. But then she looked round and gasped. Her shoe had disappeared. Oh, not again, she wailed. I'm always losing my holiday shoe. But I had an idea where it might have gone. And I was right. The crabs were having their turn. This is just like being in a car, they cried. Brum, brum, or a 
a brand new house. And they laughed and laughed. Little Betty really needed her shoe back, so I had to come up with one of my best ideas ever. I looked down the beach and saw the perfect thing. A big shell. The crabs were happy to swap the shoe for the shell. They got inside it and pretended it was a train, then a rocket and a boat. This is fun, they cried, and they laughed and laughed. Thanks, little cook small. Our new shell is such fun, they called, and Betty and I made our way home. Betty was so happy to have her shoe back, and she said she'd never lose it again. Little cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. And Betty got her shoe back all because you had a brilliant idea, Small. Oh, well done, you. Whoa! Well, thank you very much, Ben. So now you need to have a brilliant idea for what we can make for Little Betty Blue. Oh, yes. Another brilliant idea for Little Betty Blue. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Woohoo! Oh, yes! Have I found the perfect thing or what? It's something to remind little Betty of all the fun she had at the seaside. Veggie sandcastles. Yippee! Well, you read out the ingredients, little Cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need an onion. Onion in the fridge. Over we go. One onion. Got that. A pepper. One pepper in there as well. Got that too, Small. Frozen peas. Frozen peas in the freezer. There we are. Frozen peas, yep. Yeah. Turmeric. Turmeric. That turns the sand yellow. OK. So, turmeric to turn the sand yellow, but what are we going to use for sand, Small? Long grain rice. Long grain rice, OK. And tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, we haven't got any tomatoes, Small. Oh, no. Don't worry, Small. We've got all the other ingredients. Hey, why don't you whisk off and find some? Oh, yes, of course. <sighs> hey, why don't you come along too? Off we go! Small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! Oh, -ho, looks like I'm in the right place. Gosh, that's the biggest greenhouse I've ever seen. Let's go inside and see what's growing in the greenhouse. Come on. Oh, do you know what they are? They're tomatoes. And look, this man is picking them. The tomato plant grows out of the soil. And hundreds of tomatoes grow on its vines. When the tomatoes are young, they're green. And then they turn bright red when they're ready to eat. Ooh, lovely red juicy tomatoes. These tomatoes are being grown in a greenhouse because it's nice and hot and the warmth helps the tomatoes to grow. Ooh, it's too hot in here for me. I'd better dash. Oh, if only I could have gone to the beach. The waves lapping at the shore. Whoosh, whoosh. The sound of the sea. Whoosh, whoosh. Whee! I'm back! You can't dream about the sea now, Ben. 
I've got the tomatoes! Whoosh, 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 whoo! Wow, they're so lovely and red. I saw this man who was picking them. They grow on plants, you know. Lovely. Let's cook. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to veggie sandcastles? You do. There was an onion, half chopped, a pepper. Half sliced. Frozen peas. Half a cup. Turmeric. One teaspoon. Long grain rice. 150 grams. And tomatoes. Four chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started. Right, Ben, you get going on the recipe while I make the flag for the top of the sandcastle. Now, I've heated some olive oil in a saucepan. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that for you. Shall I do it red or blue, Ben? Red. No, blue. No, both. Both! Now put the onions, peppers, and the turmeric into the saucepan. And give it a good stir for about five minutes. Shall I do it in stripes or spots, Ben? Stripes. No spots. No, do both. Stripes and spots. OK, so it's red and blue, stripes and spots. OK. This looks pretty good. Time to add the rice. And the tomatoes. And just enough water to cover them. And then we bring them to the boil. Ben! Ben, I've just had an idea! Why don't I draw a picture of little Bessie Blue in the middle of the flag? Oh, yes, Mole. That is a brilliant idea. Oh, I'm full of them today, aren't I? So it's red and blue, stripes and spots, with a picture of little Bessie Blue in the middle. Here goes! Aha! There we are. It's boiling now, so... Turn it down and let it cook slowly for 15 minutes until the rice is soft. Pop the lid on and now we have to do some waiting. Hmm. I'll set the timer. Yes, it looks just right. There we go. Now, here's a little tip for you. If it looks a little bit dry, you can always put a little bit more water in. Now it's time to add the peas. Giving it a good stir. There we go. How's your flag coming, Small? Coming along, Ben. I've done the stripes, see, and the spots. Now all I've got to do is put little Bessie Blue in the middle. Good, because our veggie sandcastles will be ready very soon. There we are. Turn the heat down. Now, I've greased a beaker with a little butter, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. There we go. A little more. Very nice. 
press it down firmly with your spoon and then leave it to cool for five minutes. Little Betty Blue is ready. And here's the best bit. I'm going to place the plate on top of the beaker, like that, and very carefully turn them over. There we go. And slowly remove the beaker. There we are. Ta-da! Oh, very nice. What do you think of that, Small? Fantastic! And it's about to get even better. I've stuck my flag on a straw so that you can put it in the middle of the sandcastle. I think of everything, don't I? As I said before, you're brilliant, Small. Quick, Ben, get it off to Bessie Blue now whilst it's still nice and warm. OK, then, here we go. One veggie sandcastle coming through. There. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Ah, here comes the plate. And she's left us a beautiful shell and a note, a postcard. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you so very much for my delicious veggie sandcastle. It reminded me of all the fun I had with Little Cook Small on the beach. Woohoo! But because Big Cook couldn't come and missed out on all the fun, I'm giving him this shell. If you hold it up to your ear, you can hear something very special. Oh, Ben! Ben, isn't that kind? Well, what can you hear? Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh, Small, you'll never guess. I can hear the sea. Oh, so now I don't have to go to the beach in the rain after all. I can stay right here. Whoosh! Whoosh! See you soon! See you soon! Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, hey, oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo! Woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing and I get to go skating. Way! Yes, okay then. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, small. Small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow? Oh, yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <sighs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess in our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book.
We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married, but first the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed. And on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses. And on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the queen asked her how she'd slept. And the princess said, Oh, very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the queen knew that only a princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. Well, almost, because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could feel every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock, a big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed, and she slept like a dream. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Ben. But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes, there's a princess in our cafe. <gasps> we could. Could... <sighs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. <sighs> oh, small! Look at this. Princess Pie. Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, Small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas, Small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that. Definitely double cream. Eggs. Two eggs, one and a two, and mint. Mint, oh yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas, Small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah, and I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Whoa! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look. There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. And here's the tractor to collect them. 
Look at all those peas! Off they go! I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags. Full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. Whoa. I'm back, Ben. Oh, no. I see. Well, of course, they must come with you. Yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin, Den, on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife, Pen, and their children, Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the peas small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> wow. It was brilliant. I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... Frozen. <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you were away, Small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for Princess Pie? You do? Let's see, then. There was short crust pastry, one packet, all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices, like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray. And then fold up the edges like this, to make little walls. There. 
How's it going, Small? Here we are, Big Cook Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint. All together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. Now, you don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash. Mash back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me. It was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great. Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice. Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness. Your Royal Highness. Oh. 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 Hello? Yes? All right. Okay, then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. 
My cousin children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Oh, look! A lovely clean plate. Oh, yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> we were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. Today is a very special day. Because I've been sent a present by my Auntie Betty. Now, where is it? Hey, can you see where it is? What, over here? It's not there. Where? What, over here? Oh, it's not there either. Oh, now where can it be? <laughs> Fooled you! Oh, <laughs> very funny, small. <laughs> Hello! Right, let's see what Auntie Betty sent. Open up the box. Here we are. Lift off the lid. Oh, look! Auntie Betty sent me a woolly jumper. Oh. Hey! It's made out of wool. And wool comes from sheep. <laughs> let's see it on, shall we? Oh, yes. It must have taken ages for Auntie Betty to knit that. Oh, it's lovely. Hey, now where's a mirror so I can see it on? Um, oh, the cooker. Oh, that looks great on you, Ben. Oh, no, I can't see anything in there. Where's that mirror? I'm sure it was here somewhere. No, not in there. Where could it be, Small? Ben! Oh, Ben! I'm sure I've left it somewhere. What about round here? It's Auntie Betty's jumper. It's... 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 Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, no! Oh, dear, oh, it's all unravelling, Small. Oh, poor Auntie Betty. What am I going to do? Oh. oh, we've got a customer, Small. You better go and see who it is, and I'll try and sort this jumper out. What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer, Small? I'll give you a clue. It's someone who's lost something. Well, lots of things, actually. Things that go... Bah! <laughs> sheep. Someone who's lost her sheep. And that person is Little Bo Peep. Really? Little Bo Peep's come to our cafe? Oh, yes. I bet she's hungry, though, Small. So what are we going to cook for Little Bo Peep who's lost her sheep? I think it's time to look at my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, Little Bo Peep was sitting alone knitting. Hello, Little Bo Peep. I said, what are you knitting? Oh, said Little Bo Peep sadly, I'm just knitting. You see, 
I'm feeling very, very sad because I've lost all my sheep. Why don't we try calling your sheep? I said. Maybe they'll come back if you call them. Oh, I've tried that. <laughs> Sniffed little Bo Peep. Listen. Come back! Come back, sheep! Come back! Oh, it was the loudest shouting I had ever heard. It made me cover my ears. No wonder the sheep weren't coming back. Little Bo Peep, I said. I think I've got a better idea. Maybe your sheep don't like shouting, I said. Maybe they like singing. Oh, yes, said Little Bo Peep. And so I played the guitar. And Little Bo Peep sang along. Sheep, 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 sheep. It was an awful racket. I had another think, and then I said, Why don't we try this? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She doesn't know where to find them. Sing them a song, they'll come along, wagging their tails behind them. And the sheep came back. They liked the song Little Bo Peep and I were singing so much that they were back in no time. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. You're right, Small, but we still don't know what to make for Bo Peep to eat. Way! Time for some serious thinking, Ben. That's right. What does someone who's lost their sheep want for a tasty snack? I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the big cookery book does recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Yes, here it is. The very thing for Little Bo Peep. A potato sheep. We turn a potato into a sheep. What a clever idea. Come on then, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need olives. OK, in the cupboard. Here we are. Olives. Got them small. A baking potato. Oh, in the fridge. One potato. Got it. Cheese. Oh, yes. Lovely cheese. Oh. And thick yoghurt. 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 Oh, don't seem to have any of that. Right. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from the yoghurt. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some. Woohoo! Righto, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a lovely day! These sheep are in a hurry. What are they up to? The farmer is attaching some pipes to the sheep so they can be milked. That's the sheep's milk. Mmm, delicious. This milk is going to be used to make yoghurt. First of all, the milk has to be heated up and stirred in this machine. Then it has to be cooled down again. Before the yoghurt can be eaten, it has to be poured into pots and left in the fridge for a while. A pot of delicious yoghurt made from sheep's milk. Best to get back to the cafe. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Way! I'm back! Did you get the yoghurt? 
I certainly did. <whistles> wow! Hoo -hoo. It was brilliant, Ben. I saw how sheep's yoghurt is made. And I even met a few sheep as well. <whistles> <laughs> Any sign of little Bo Peep sheep? Nope. Still lost. We'd better make her a tasty snack to cheer her up. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Bo Peep Sheep? You do? There were olives. Two, chopped up. A baking potato. One. Cheese. One cup, grated. And thick yoghurt. Three teaspoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing to do is put the potato onto a grease baking tray. There we are. And then I'm going to prick it with a fork. There we go. And again, turn it over, and one there, and another one there. This will help it to cook. And then let's put it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. Over we go. Just leave that there. Open the oven, and in it goes. Great. And I'm going to set the oven to 230 degrees Celsius Gas mark eight. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Keep it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll set the timer. There we go. 45. Ready. Take out the potato. Great! Let's turn it into a sheep. Not yet, Small. We've got to let it cool down first. Just enough so we can touch it with our fingers without getting burnt. OK, OK. We won't turn it into a sheep yet. We'll wait. Sheep? Wool? Oh, jumpers. What am I going to do about my jumper, Small? What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? Oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, Ben. We'll sort it out later. Has the potato cooled yet? Let's see. Yes, it has, Small. It's cool enough to touch. Hooray! Now let's turn it into a sheep. I've cut the potato in half. There we are. And I'm going to scoop out the fluffy potato. Nice and soft. Careful. Out it comes. Pop it into a bowl. There we are. Hee-hee! <laughs> it's fluffy, just like a fluffy sheep. <laughs> Yes, it is small. So, all the potato into the bowl. And I'm going to add some of the grated cheese. In it goes. A little bit more. There we go. I've put in most of it there. And finally, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the yoghurt. One. And two. And then mix it all up together. Ben, what happened to the rest of the potato? The brown crispy bits on the outside? The potato skins? They're here, Small. They're very important, those bits, aren't they, Ben? Yes, they are. Because I'm now going to spoon the fluffy, yogurty, cheesy mixture back into the potato skins. So, spoonful into this one. A little bit more. There we go. Fill it up. And then to do the other one. In it goes. Back in the skin. 
In you go. And I think one more little spoonful. Pop that there. And finally, I'm going to add the rest of the grated cheese. Sprinkle it over. Oh, yes, very nice. And now it's time to put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Yes, it is small. So, oven gloves out. Pop the potatoes onto a baking tray. And take them back over to the oven. Here we are. Pop them there. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, all done. And all lovely and golden. It doesn't look that much like a sheep, but that's what we do next. So... I'm going to pop this potato onto a plate. There we go. And now I'm going to take one more blob of yoghurt and pop it on. There we are. This is going to be the sheep's face. Remember the olives? Well, here's where you find out what we do with them. They're going to be used for the sheep's eyes. Hey, <laughs> one there and another one there. Let's give her some ears as well. There we go. Pop another one round here. And not to forget the sheep's legs. At the bottom. There we go, two there. And another two up the front. Oh, she looks great. Ha! <laughs> you mean, bah! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to finish her off with a few sprigs of parsley. There. Let's get it off to little Bo Peep. One Bo Peep sheep coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate Oh, and it looks like Bo Peeps enjoyed her potato sheep. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Oh, it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my Bo Peep sheep. It was delicious. <laughs> Here's two presents for you both to say thank you. Big Cook and Little Cook. Oh, what could it be? Oh, look, Small. It's another woolly jumper. And it's just like the one that Auntie Betty gave me. Now you won't have to tell her about what happened to the first one. Hooray! <laughs> oh. oh, and look, Small. There's something else in here for you. A little Bo Peep hat just for me. <laughs> here you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> what do you think? Hoo -hoo. Ha -ha. Oh, don't you mean? Bah. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. You know what, Small? I think something really exciting is going to happen today. What's even more exciting than usual, Ben? Yes, really special. Oh, hang on. What's this? <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, 
small. Oh, oh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Somebody's just left a letter out by the back door. Oh, oh, small, just as I suspected. Something extra fabo dabo exciting is happening. Oh, how exciting! Hello, everyone. Is it from you? Huh? So who's it from? Oh, <laughs> oh small! I don't believe this. Oh, this is brilliant. Who's it from, Ben? Oh, <laughs> small! It's from Old King Cole. It's an invitation to his party. <laughs> it says, "Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, please come to my party at the palace." The palace? Whoa! Please think of a game that we can all play from Old King Cole. Brilliant! I can't wait for the party. <laughs> But what sort of game can we take? Hmm. Oh, we could take throw the custard tart. We can make lots of custard tarts and then wee splat. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to throw custard tarts at Old King Cole. What if he gets sticky blobs on his royal robes? That would never do. <laughs> hmm. Well, if we can't play throw the custard tart, we oh we could play pass the parcel. But we don't have enough time to make the parcel, Ben. Hmm. You're right. No, we don't. <coughs> Come on, small. We'll have to think about this later. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's in the cafe today, Small? Well, it's someone who's big and hairy. <laughs> big and hairy? Hmm. You'll have to give us another clue, Small. She's big and strong, and her ears are long. So she's big and hairy and strong, and her ears are long. Hmm. And here's one more clue. She says, "Ee aw, ee aw." <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Daphne the donkey. You're right, Ben. I wonder what a donkey would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, I decided to go to the seaside. It was a lovely day, and there were donkeys on the beach giving children rides. They were having great fun. Then I spotted a very sad-looking donkey. She was staring into a shop window. The shop was selling colourful rock, candy floss, and boiled sweets. The donkey told me her name was Daphne, and she just loved looking at all the colourful sweets in the shop. Oh, they looked so inviting, so pretty and shiny, she said. But Daphne was a clever little donkey. She knew that the sweets would be bad for her teeth. So all she could do was stare at the lovely colours. Then I had an idea. I took Daphne along the street to another shop window, a shop that sold fruit and vegetables. Oh, how pretty! Said Daphne. All those lovely shapes and colours. I went into the shop and bought some vegetables. First, I gave Daphne a stick of celery. It's so munchy and crunchy and green. Exclaimed Daphne, "Munch, munch, munch, munch." Next, I gave Daphne a red pepper. I love the colour red, and it's so shiny. She gobbled it up, licking her lips. Finally, I handed her a long, juicy carrot. Scrummy, yumptious, so pretty and orange. Eeyor, eeyor, Daphne. That was my favourite. I didn't know about this shop with the lovely, colourful vegetables in the window. And they're really good for my big teeth. <laughs> I knew something else that would be good for her teeth: a toothbrush. She could keep her teeth extra healthy by brushing them after every meal. To say thank you, Daphne took me for a donkey ride on the beach. It was brilliant! Woohoo! 
Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. So Daphne the donkey discovered the yumminess of vegetables thanks to you, Little Cook. Way! And now she's eating lots of vegetables. Her teeth are staying nice and healthy too. But we still don't know what to cook for her. Hmm. Oh! <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Hey, look at this! It's perfect! Munchy Crunchy Carrot! A donkey's dream. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. <laughs> OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion over here. In there. Yep, got the onion. Carrot. Here we go as well. Carrot. Donkeys love carrots. Celery. Celery in the fridge. There we go. Nice and green. Got the celery. Water. Oh, we can get that from the tap later. Vegetable stock cubes. Oh, that should be over in the cupboard. Here we go. Got those small. Olive oil. In the cupboard as well. Yep. And rice. Rice, rice. Oh, here we go. Basmati rice. Right. Everything we need for the recipe. Small. I've always wondered where basmati rice comes from. So have I. Well, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. These are fields where pure basmati rice is grown. These are the nursery fields. The man is planting rice seeds. When the seeds grow, the stalks are moved to water-flooded paddy fields. The plant is ready to pick. Once picked, the plant is banged against metal drums. This gets the rice out of the stalks. The rice is then loaded onto carts and taken to be sold. This man is checking the rice grain by rubbing it in the palm of his hand. The rice will be dried and then packed to be sent to the shops. I'd better get back to the cafe. I was wondering if old King Cole might want to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. Way! I'm back! And I found out all about Basmati rice. It grows in water-flooded fields. Oh, well, I never knew that. Ben, what are you doing with that balloon? Well, I thought we could teach old King Cole how to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. It's my favourite game, and whenever I play... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to tie the knot. <laughs> Ben, I think we better start cooking. You're right, little cook. Off we go. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook, and he is small Friends in our cafe We cook for them all When your tummy Gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something Delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes! Have you washed your hands? Yes! All, all clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook, cook. Do you remember the ingredients to munchy crunchy carrot? You do. There was onion. One finely chopped. Carrot. One medium sized. Chopped. 
celery, one stick, chopped, and the leafy bit is for the decoration. Water, one litre. Vegetable stock cubes, one. Olive oil, two tablespoons. And rice, 125 grams. We're using basmati rice. Whoopee, let's get started. I've heated one tablespoon of the oil in a frying pan. Now this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job. And remember, the hob is hot, hot, hot. When the oil is nice and hot, add the onion and cook it until it's nice and soft. Mmm, it's the smell of onion cooking again. Whoopee! Now, I'm still trying to think of a game we can play at Old King Cole's party. Mmm, so am I. Oh, I know, I know. Musical chairs. When the music starts, you have to dance all around the chairs. And when the music stops, you have to sit on the nearest chair. But if you can't find a chair to sit on, it means you're out. <laughs> but kings don't usually sit on ordinary chairs. They sit on thrones. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Thinking up a party game for the king is more difficult than I thought. Now I've made a litre of vegetable stock by putting the stock cube into the boiling water. And I'm just giving it a final stir to get rid of all the lumps. There we go. Our onions are nice and soft now, so I'm going to pour the stock in. In it goes. And then add the rice. Bring it back to the boil. It'll take about 20 minutes to cook, so keep stirring it until all the water has been soaked up by the rice. This is ready now, so I'm going to take it off the heat, pop it down there, and then ask your grown-up helper to put the rest of the oil into another frying pan and heat it up. Then I'm going to fry the chopped celery and the chopped carrots. Don't add the leafy bit of the celery, because we'll need that later. Mmm, the sizzling now. I like the word sizzle, because it sounds like it's sizzling. Sizzle. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? I've never thought of it like that before. Sizzle. Hoo -hoo. Keep the celery and the carrots sizzling away until they go soft. That's looking good. It smells good too. Oh yes, it does smell delicious, doesn't it, Small? Right, now it's time to mix the carroty mixture with the rice. So, I'm going to pour that in there. There we go. And then bring this over to the heat. Give it a stir around. We still haven't thought of a party game. Does that mean we're not allowed to go to Old King Cole's party? Well, not unless we think of something quick, Small. You keep thinking, and I'll finish our munchy crunchy carrot. OK. Hmm. It's cooked now, so our munchy crunchy carrot is almost ready. We just need to spoon the mixture onto a plate and then mould it into a carrot shape. That's a good carroty shape, Ben, but it would look even better if you put the celery leaves on top. Ah, yes. Here we go. In there. And there. Oh, great. It looks just like a real carrot. That looks delicious. Let's get it through to Daphne the donkey while it's still hot. Uh, Small, weren't you supposed to be thinking up a party game for us? You haven't forgotten, have you? Whoops! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, one munchy crunchy carrot coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bob The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Well, we're all dressed up for the party but we still haven't thought of a game to play. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just have to keep on thinking. And look! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Daphne enjoyed her munchy, crunchy carrot. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. My munchy crunchy carrot was scrumptious! Woohoo! I heard you were having some trouble thinking of a game to play at Old King Cole's party. To say thank you, I've made you the perfect game. Stick the tail on the donkey. Have fun from Daphne the donkey. Small, look at this! Oh, oh, oh. She's given us the perfect game. Whee! Whoopee! Stick the tail on the donkey! That's brilliant! Come on then, Small, let's give it a try. I'll put the blindfold on. OK, I remember this one. Now, first of all, you have to start spinning. OK, I'm spinning, Small. Now stop and stick the tail on the donkey. I've done it. I've done it, Small. Oh, where's the tail? I thought I'd stuck it on the donkey. It's stuck on me. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> now I've got a top hat and tail. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to practice. Come on, Ben. Let's go to the palace for the party. Hey, hey see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>